Hi there. Hello. You are so dark and so tan. Why, thank you. I just got back from my tour with Drum Corps International. Drum Corps? I have never heard of that. What is Drum Corps? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. Give it your best shot. Okay. Have you ever seen a marching band? Yes. Drum Corps is kind of like a professional marching band. Oh my god, you are a band geek. No, I'm not. I march Drum Corps. Not marching band. You just told me that Drum Corps was like marching band. Well, that's the easiest way to describe it. So, is it a marching band then? No, it is not. Do you have a better comparison? Drum Corps is kind of like the musical equivalent to the NFL just like those football players are the best in the world at what they do, we are also the best at the world in what we do. The Drum Corps International World Championships are like the Super Bowl in the NFL. Wow. You must get paid so much money, since you are so good. How much do you get paid? That's not exactly how it works. What do you mean? I have to pay money to march Drum Corps. Really? That is so strange. You would think that, if you are as good as you say you are, you would be making a lot of money like those athletes in the NFL. If you have to pay money, then why do you do it? I pay money for the experience I get out of it. And what does this experience entail? I devote almost a year of my life to practicing the exact same music every single day. During the winter and spring months, I go to a camp every few weekends to practice with my core. Each of these camps costs me several hundred dollars in our fare, as my core is all the way in California, and I live on the East Coast. Once May rolls around, I give up my life for three months and move in permanently with my core. I rehearse sometimes 12 or more hours a day, every day, practicing the same music for the first month. After that, we go on tour around the country. We perform for thousands of fans every night in different cities around the country. We play a show at night and then drive on buses through the night to the next city. If we are lucky, we get to sleep for two hours on a high school gymnasium floor. Before every show, we all must shower in high school shower rooms. If we are lucky, there will be more than three shower heads. It is always challenging for 150 people to shower in less than an hour with only three shower heads. When on tour, during the daytime we rehearse all day outside in the hot sun. This does not sound like a very good experience to me. Wait. There's more. Oh dear lord. It is always important to remember to not pack too many things when on tour. We live in our bus seats and can only wash our clothes every few weeks. Therefore, we cannot pack too much clothes. Is that why you are so tan? Because you never wear clothes? Yes. When rehearsing, the majority of the core is almost naked. The summer heat can be quite overwhelming, so we take off our clothes. Especially in Texas in July, when it is 115 degrees outside. This still does not sound like a very good experience. Do you ever get any free time? No. If we are lucky, we will get one or two afternoons over the course of the whole summer, where we can have free time. That blows. How much did you say you rehearse again? Every day from sunrise to sunset, unless it is a show day. We practice the same music all summer long. We run the same few measure segments over and over and over again until it is perfect. When we get it wrong, the staff often yells at us and demeans us so that we are more motivated to get it right. Wouldn't them yelling at you have the opposite effect? I still fail to see the good part of the experience in all of this. The amazing part is getting to perform in NFL stadiums filled with people who come to watch our shows instead of football. There is nothing like it, and you will not get that experience anywhere else. It is all about discipline and doing things that we once thought impossible. How much did you say you have to pay to do this? Nowadays, the average cost is $3,000. However, that is not including travel fees for the camps during the winter and spring months. The cost can easily come out to more than $5,000. You are crazy. How do you pay for college? I dropped out of college and started working full-time so that I could save up my money for drum corps. That seems like a very unwise thing to do. I believe that the experience I get in drum corps will be much more valuable than that of college. 
and besides, I can only march until I turn 21. Then I age out. Oh really? That is interesting what will you do after you age out and can never march again? I will most likely join the Reading Buccaneers as part of DCA so that I can continue to feel like I'm good at something. Interesting. What instrument do you play? Do you play the saxophone? No, there are no woodwind instruments allowed in drum corps. There is only brass, percussion, and color guard. Oh, that is interesting. So what instrument do you play? I play the marching snare drum. Oh my god, you are a drummer. I hear that drummers are not real musicians. That is not true at all. We play very demanding music that requires much skill and musicality. What kind of music do you play? Flams, drags, rolls, flam accents, fom taps, paradiddles, pataplifles, Swiss army triplets, flamacous, inverted flam taps, ratamacous, choo choos, Shirley Murphys. Cheeses, fom fives, shock a diddles, egg beaters, cheese chas, flam beaters, flam mill drags, stutter diddles, tagadas, grandmas, inverted grandmas, dig a duplets, and much more. Um, what? None of that sounds like music to me. You are a drummer and not a real musician. Tell me more about drum corps. Who invented the activity? George Hopkins. What changes were made to your activity? George Hopkins. Who gave the most innovative ideas? George Hopkins. Who has the most championships in drum corps? George Hopkins. Is it worth the amount of money that you pay? George Hopkins. How many corps are there in existence? George Hopkins. Do you play any other instruments? George Hopkins. How many fingers am I holding up? George Hopkins. What is 2 plus 2? George Hopkins. What planet are you from? George Hopkins. George Hopkins. George Hopkins. Fascinating. What chord do you march in? I started out in the tragic of Orlando. Oops. I mean the magic of Orlando. After spending two years there, I got into the Blue Devils. Are the Blue Devils good? Yes. We are constantly risking absurdity with avant-garde show concepts like playing atonal music that not many people like to listen to, dressing our color guard in funny outfits, and putting giant mirrors all over the field to try and trick the dumb crowds into thinking that we are actually bigger than we are. That sounds really retarded. The fans seem to think so too, but as long as we keep on getting first place, we don't care. Interesting. Are there any other controversial things in drum corps? Yes. We recently added electronics to drum corps. Our 80-person horn lines are not loud enough, we must mic our soloists, make our front ensembles noticeable, talk to the crowds telling stories that no one really wants to hear, and use many amps to make our brass line sound much louder and fake than it actually is. Fascinating. I am truly perplexed by you and drum corps. I feel sorry for you. I hope that you do not force this horrible idea upon your children. Do not upset me any further with your stupidness. I am running out of places to hide the bodies. May the fleece of 1,000 camels infest your crotch. Goodbye.